Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an animated 3D logo for use in Flash. So here we are in Illustrator and I've just created a simple shape with the pen tool and this is just uh, traced over the Flash logo here and uh, it doesn't have a stroke and we're going to want to export this for use in Swift 3D where we're actually going to create our 3D animation. So I'm going to go to the File menu and I'm going to choose Export and from our dialog box here I'm going to choose Illustrator Legacy from the pull down. So basically we're going to be saving this as an older version Illustrator file which is what Swift needs. So uh, from this version pull down I'm going to want to choose version 8 and click OK. Okay so now I have my uh, Illustrator file saved and we can go over to Swift 3D Okay, so here we are in the uh, Swift 3D interface. We have the two viewports here. So we're going to go up to the File menu and choose Import to import our Illustrator file. And we're going to choose that .ai file we just created. Okay, so as you can see, there's our Flash logo. And it's actually already extruded it into a 3D shape. It's hard to see here, but if you look at the top view here, you can see it has some depth to it. So now there's more advanced things that we can do like create cameras or create lights um, but for right now we're just going to keep it simple. So I kind of want to zoom out on this guy a little bit so if I right click and hold the alt key I can drag and zoom. It's kind of giving me some more space. So as you can see it's already it's taken that red color that I brought in from Illustrator but down here in the bottom here there's some materials, all these different types of materials that you can apply to your shape. So I'm just going to choose this red glossy material and to select it you just grab it and drag it onto your object. You can see it changed there. So now it has a red glossy coating on the outside. So over here on the left we have all these things that we can change about this object and one of the things we can change is the bevel because right now it's a square bevel so I can change it to a round bevel and again this, uh, this smooth and coarse and the mesh quality just determines the level of detail in your model the more detail the longer it will take to render and the bigger the file size so now I want to animate this guy and down here where our materials are to the right of that there's all of these built-in animations that Swift 3D comes with and you can do your own animations but these are just great uh, pre-baked animations and to preview you just click on these little buttons so I'm just going to choose a simple spin and again you drag it onto the object that's all it takes so now this thing is animated and to preview it just go to this play button here and you see our logo is now spinning and you can see it's got that red glossy surface okay so now we want to export this and render it so we're going to go up here to the preview and export editor and when we click on that we're going to see on the left all of these different uh, options that we have to determine the, the quality of our final output again it's a balance between file size and quality and we're going to want to choose this Flash Importer, which is basically the best method for importing our animation to Flash. So here we have all of our frames. Now we can choose to render just a single frame or our whole movie. We're going to generate all frames in our animation. Okay, so now there it is. It's rendering every frame of our animation. You can see it's pretty quick because I haven't chosen a high level of detail here. So we'll just wait for this to finish and there it is. Now if we want to preview as you see all of these frames now have been rendered and we can play it to see what our final rendered output looks like and there we go we have our animated 3D logo. So now the last step is to export out of Swift 3D and get it ready to bring into Flash. So I'm just gonna click export all frames and again you want that Flash importer and I'm just going to call it logo and save it. Now we're ready to go into Flash. Okay, so here we are in Flash. I've just created a new document and I could import the animation to the root timeline but it's not going to allow me to control it very well. So I'm going to create a new movie clip 
so go to new symbol and chose movie clip and I'm just going to call it logo okay now inside of our movie clip I just hit control R to import to the stage and I'm going to select my Swift file and there it is and if you go up to the timeline here you see it's just imported a sequence of keyframes for my animation so if I come down and hit enter just to test it there it is there's my 3D animation so if I go back to the root timeline and grab it from our library and drag it out now since it's in a movie clip I can do things like scale it down say I just need a really small uh, logo animation here in the upper left hand corner and now if I go ahead and test this movie there it is there's our 3D animation so we went from Illustrator to Swift 3D to Flash and you can see it's only 8K which is very acceptable so this is just a simple introduction to Swift 3D and I uh, hope you enjoyed it.